Everything began with a question. Can sustainable design help us develop new furniture aesthetics and possibilities? That's what I started asking myself more or less three years ago. I'm Ilaria Bianchi, and this is a short story about me being a designer. I have always been very conscious about the environment, and this, on a very personal scale, turned into a strong sensibility towards the abandoned and refused materials. I usually collect more than I actually need, and then I select the things that inspires me the most. There are a lot of things that can hinder the creativity process, especially for structure, conceptions and behaviors. I kind of feel I'm experimenting on a level of democracy where I can create my personal environment within these unexpected resources. My research has a lot to do with uh, ad hocism theories, uh, an instinctual approach for when we are called to solve a problem quickly, economically and efficiently using just what is available at the moment. I believe in this critical historical moment design has a crucial role in being a mean to investigate reality. I wanted to produce items that question our society and our current methods of production, and this involved also developing a new aesthetic language. I like to work with artisans and makers. They have a deep knowledge of materials and talking with them makes my work smarter and better. Polystyrene waste uh, fascinated me at first glance. It's poor, but aesthetically similar to something rich, like marble. So I combined them, producing items which would bond street materials with gallery materials. I feel somehow responsible for the environmental situation as part of the disposable generation or the throwaway society. I use my work as I mean to reflect on critical issues and promote positive changes. <laughs>